boys, come on, get up. Continue to go for the session. So we're going to train you guys for the upcoming tournament. One ball over there, the yellow marker, one ball over there. Since 2012, Sportcares has empowered its constituent groups to experience and reap the benefits of sports by improving wellness, instilling confidence, and building positive social connections. By using sport as a common language, it has allowed us to better appreciate the different abilities of each individual whilst at the same time enjoying sport and help build a more inclusive, caring, and cohesive society. The collective heart of Sport Cares volunteers in giving back and creating opportunities for persons of different backgrounds to flourish and to strengthen is what makes Sport Cares a community of care for all. I personally felt that, right, if you're talking about hope, right, it starts off with yourself. So that's the reason I put like my heart and soul into wheelchair up here. When you're in the court, right, all of us treat one another with respect and we treat everybody the same. When it first started, right, it just started off with only four people. So when I get to see people come together, I just feel the love. That is super priceless, yeah. You have to be sincere in doing things. Uh. Then only you can see results after that. Man of the match. You know, it's all because of the heart. It's the whole entire community. I don't call them as an individual, you know. I call them like a family, really. Children, are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes? Ada wants to be with you. You want to change one? Whenever the kids come weekly, every session, we are building relationship. Then you slowly cultivate the values through sports. Today's value is determination. Everybody repeat after me, determination. In my standpoint of care runners, i rather they enjoy the sport. That's how I grew up with track and field. I enjoy the sport so much that I want to keep coming back for more. Lunges, upright, upright, then raw. Okay? Lower, go lower. Ryan, body upright, please. Can we cheer for your teammate? Come on! With this very positive environment, I always hope that they, you know, will realize that there is this potential in them and that they can unleash it. <laughs> That's why I put in my 100% effort in every session. I'm in a happy place. Wave your hands in the air! <laughs> My first time coming here, I was like really naughty and I didn't like to do the things the coaches say. But then now, I listen to the advisors from my coaches. Stop, stop, stop! Hands up, hands up. Uh, what's up? Can you take the lead? Alright. How many rounds? How many? Uh, three. three rounds. Three rounds, okay. Listening to the coaches make us understand the values of the care runners. I feel like it makes me become a better person. Nice. 
and with confidence, I can do anything that I set my mind to. I learned a lot from each and every one that I met here. Instead of just football wise, it's more like a value thing. It's all from the sports that I play. The way I express my feelings and the way I communicate with people. I think it's their joy that they bring to every single training. Seeing my teammates, seeing my coaches. Yeah, it makes me happy and once you are happy, you can think properly. <laughs> yeah. The only way you feel something is because you put yourself into that thing. That's the reason why you feel it. From the sportcast staff who have guided me to the the coaches who have like supported me throughout my my journey, they are very sincere in what they do. When I gave up on myself, they never gave up on me. They will continuously give the opportunity for me to be the best version of myself. So I really felt like I was kind of inspired from what they do back then. Ah. Now is the chance for me to pay it forward. Hence, I come and do coaching to develop the upcoming youths who might need help. I mean, one word or a phrase that I might say that's really valuable to me is probably not giving up. That is really important because I have known like what kind of things that they go through in their houses or their environment or their neighborhood. So I don't want to give up on them. I will give them whatever opportunities I know of so they can be the best version of themselves. You know, I tell you, participant. I was once like you, you know, I was like a participant like you. If you give this kind of hope in them, right, that kind of fire, right, it's, it's, it's there, but it's not lit up. You know, and, and they give this kind of motivation, and you're like, oh, wow, the, the fire, you know, right? Yeah. Through that, we kind of like stick to their heart. That really matters. So, I mean, as a coach, I can do a bit, but it's, you know, the family the surrounding neighborhood. It's all part of it, right? To develop a child. As patron of Sportcast, I am delighted to be here to celebrate Sportcast's 10 year anniversary. It is wonderful to meet many beneficiaries, stakeholders and partners this evening. All of you represent the work of Sportcast in using sport as a force for social good. Meeting and hearing the meaningful experiences of Sportcast beneficiaries and coaches have reinforced that sport is indeed a powerful social development tool that transcends boundaries and build bridges for a more caring and inclusive community. And therefore, it is indeed truly a language that is universal. It is through the collective effort of all our community partners that we are able to realize a common vision of serving our communities. And I would like to commend every single one of you for coming together and championing the use of sport as a force for the betterment of our society. Congratulations, Sportcast, on your 10th anniversary.